Hello, hello, Sagittarius. Forgive me, I have a cough drop in my mouth, but it is for the best. It's Virgo season. And before I get into the cards that literally just dropped out, um, all information to work with me one-on-one -on -one is below as well as the extended versions to these readings, which will be on Patreon. Usually I'll put them out towards the end of the month, towards the next month on YouTube as well. So check that, those links out below. Um, Six of Cups, Four of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and Judgment. Well, interesting, huh? It looks like you've been... It's like you've been trying to make peace with parts of yourself. Um, because whatever's been happening has been happening for a while now. Whatever has, whatever has caused you to feel hurt, stuck, or even pain. This month is brought in... This month is... Since the beginning, it's probably been trying to give you a chance to rest and give yourself some ease before you jump into why. Um, but that rest and that ease in those moments where you're not going almost feel the most painful. And I'm sorry about my voice right now. <laughs> but let me tell you why. When we get to those points where we're finally ready to take a look at what's been going on for, I'd say, probably six months or longer at this point, even a couple years for some of you, um, you're finally at the point and where I'm like, you're like, okay, like I can take a look at what and why and like why things have been heavy or stuck or just not just life isn't moving in le like the same way it used to and it's not that it's not moving at all because it is but there's something that's been kind of holding you back from even having even allowing you allowing yourself to have maybe the best time or have more of an experience so this month you're going to get what you need and you're going to get the judgment card where it doesn't matter you're going to hear what needs to be heard you felt like you got a break but then all of a sudden boom well would you wait so long and you you just wait and you just avoid or you resist whatever it is that's been trying to come after you or trying to face you for a while but number one we have to remember that it's all in perfect timing if you believe that it's all in perfect timing, it really is, and it will meet you in the perfect time. So maybe right now is the perfect timing. So first of all, give yourself some grace because you've been handling other things aside from whatever this, um, whatever this huge change is. For some of you, you're just not ready to do the labor the um that it's going to take to move you through this but really i think you're thinking it's going to be more than it's than it is it's a lot of mental labor so whatever you're going to hear from this judgment whatever you need to hear is going to come it's going to come through this month you know mercury just went direct we're going to have mercury going into libra soon and i would say get it from while mercury's in libra well, Mercury is in Virgo, right? But we'll get more into that into the second part. Mm. This is what could be your process, but doesn't have to be. But we'll I'll I'll take take a walk through it with you. Because we don't want to make this we don't want to draw this this reading out longer than it has to be, huh, Sage? I know. So quickly, 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 then whatever it is hits you where it needs to hit you. And then all of a sudden you realize you've done all that you can do. You've done 
You've also done a lot of extra work even just to avoid the newness that's coming around the corner, just to avoid what really needs to happen, a fresh slate, something different. You, it's like putting all your chips on one part of the table and you can do that, that's fine. Or you can just walk away from the table and do whatever you wanna do. The wor like the world is open to you. You've earned, but you've over, even maybe have overextended at some points, this ability to to work towards and change and make things different right you you knew so the one thing about you is that you know once this is said even though it feels like it came out of nowhere you know once this is once whatever needs to be said is said the game changes everything changes everything shifts I just realize how like kind of crooked this is <laughs> um and that's what has been stopping you Weirdly enough, Sagittarius is a sucker for nostalgia. You like new, but there's some things that you do like. And Virgo season's a perfect time to like have a little bit of it, but also realize like whatever isn't, whatever is just going to keep you sluggish or kept keep you held down isn't, isn't necessary to stay around. Because this Virgo season, unlike most others, because this one I like, feel is a little different, is really allowing us to shed is pulling us out of this old skin and into the new one and you're almost you're not that you're resistant to it but you're not jumping and ready to go <laughs> you're like i want to wait a little longer or you're not saying it but you're just like letting yourself move along and again go at your own pace never move faster but life is gonna bring down the words that you need to say and also also for some of you you have something to offer you have something to say you have something to give and you're not and this is a part of the ace of wands there's something that you haven't been you're out you can be outspoken about some things but notice where you're overextending your voice in some areas where you can be giving something really important to you in other areas or giving like giving a service or um maybe asking for a promotion or asking for more money or maybe you're being maybe there's some different offering but there's someone in your life that really sees you for what you're made of and who you are and they're not going to let all your hard work go to waste, but you first have to recognize that. It's like, it's so, it's funny how that is, but as a, as a Sagittarius, no one, most of the time, and let me tell you, not a lot of people are going to do that bluntly with you the way you would. They're not going to give you that opportunity as bluntly as you would like it. You may have to say like, I know I deserve this. Or I know that I've worked hard for this. And you like list it out. Um, for some of you, you have a little bit more effort to put in. Like you have the eight of wands and then you have the ten. And then you have the ace. So we have the missing wand here. But we also go from the ten right to the ace. But there's a little more effort that you need to put in. I said, I know I said that you put it in, but this month is asking for every detail. I know that you're not always a sucker for the details in every which way, but for today, for this season, you want to make sure that you checked all the details, especially, especially if it has to do with something you've just created, if it's a new business, or if it's something that you're really looking to put into action very soon. I would say so. I would say do that. And for those of you that are in maybe a rut or in a dynamic, in a relationship dynamic that you're very unsure of or has caused a lot of stuck or hurt or pain or there's something, there's some things that are still in there from not right now, but a while ago that feel as though they're unresolved. Doing what you need to do to move forward for yourself in a new way most of the time can resolve these things that just linger around 
when they have no business lingering around. But they're things we keep, things that you or we, anyone can keep, you know, tucked in there just waiting for a rainy day or waiting for the right moment. Don't do that to yourself. Give yourself the opportunity this month to maybe have some beautiful moments, maybe may have a beautiful ritual, maybe bring some flowers, bring the end of summer into spring, those like very deep, rich, beautiful purples, pinks, um, greens, maybe even start getting into like the burgundies at this time of year before we get into the yellows and the reds and the oranges where you can settle into this version of you that's coming up and out of something that has been, it's been hard for a while. And you feel like you've been given an opportunity and you don't want to, you don't want to ruin it. Well, the only way you can ruin it is not, is by not listening to whatever divine intervention this is. Because there's been something constantly getting, or a moment or, a person that's been getting kind of in the way of because it's like it's maybe that you're being tested for like the better and for the next so for those of you who are single I would say don't settle this month don't get in, into anything new unless it's willing to take the course it's supposed to take because for you a lot is going to be new the end of the month is the ace of wands there's going to be so much dreamy and freshness and looking at what could be and what will be and these moments where you get to explore your mind when you finally clear up all this stuff that's been kind of just stuck in these little corners. And it's like kind of, it's just time to like dust it out, clean it out, wipe it down, move on, you know? I know you like your, your good cleanings once in a while and you will feel more in control by the end of the month. And it's not that you weren't, but it was kind of an illusion that you were because there is you weren't always in front. And we'll talk more about this next month and as more things go into Libra. But the justice here, the karma here, is that the season's preparing you for what can be an ex exponential growth from here until your season. And I don't just mean like financially, it means within yourself, within your mind, within you, the ability to give yourself the opportunity to dream bigger or the opportunity to dream longer or have longevity or have or go into different things that you didn't think was possible. But you have more control and power and you're feeling it. And you may not feel super social right now, and that's okay. You don't have to be. There's some things that you're doing, and Sagittarius is allowed to be a hermit too sometimes. But also enjoy the season. Enjoy the healing that it brings, the love that it brings. And it's not doing anything, you know, it's not here to harm you. It's just here to tell you it's time to take that extra leap, take that extra step this month. If you think you've gone, if you think you've done everything, just check again. Double check. Double check everything this month. Because coming into the month, there again, there are there were some times of ease that almost felt like you were going back into this very maybe depressive, stuck state. We're just like recapping real quick. But then all of a sudden you hear what needs to be heard. And for a lot of you, I think this is a real spiritual, this is a different spiritual connection. And we've been talking about this. So this is a spiritual connection. This is something that just hits you. I don't think someone says something to you. There could be, for some of you, there is someone specifically who just says what you need to hear in the right moment. But for a lot of you, it's a spiritual connection that you've been tampering with. Not tam that's not the best word that you've been um, testing out uh, and then it's been there, it's been on and off, it's been in certain moments, but now it's here to tell you, you have more control, you have more, you have, you can still have some fun too, but it's just like, check everything. Because Mercury retrograde, if it didn't show you anything, it's gonna tell you to just, just double check. Just double check that list or double check everything you did 
because the intuition you're going to have after listening to your body and what you need this month is going to be unmatched for the rest of the year. Just let yourself clean it out now. Let this be di the digestive season where everything settles. Okay? We'll get more into the second part. We'll see you then. And all information is below. See you, Sag.